Hi, my name is Greg Knox and I'm the Executive Director of Skeena Wild Conservation Trust. And this is a fisheries update for August 3rd, 2022. And I will be covering returns into the river systems plus uh, fisheries, management fisheries that are, are happening. And this information comes mostly from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, as well as First Nations fisheries programs from throughout the region. So I just wanted to start with a, a general uh, update on what we're seeing. And in many systems, especially Skeena and NAS, we're seeing better returns than we have in, in the last several years. Uh, this is likely due to uh, colder water in the ocean uh, we, for the last three years, and also cooler temperatures, more water in the river systems over the last few years. And um, this is a triple La Nina, which is a, a, a rare weather event. It's the reason we've been, been getting cold, wet weather here for the last several years. And so this could easily shift back into a warm phase next year or the year after and in future years, which would obviously have implications on the health of our salmon population. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, this year, there's been less of a pink return into Southeast Alaska, which means uh, less fishing pressure in Southeast Alaska, less interception of our fish swimming through Southeast Alaskan waters. And also it's likely the result of management actions in recent years to protect and rebuild our salmon population. So combination of factors. I'll start with the Skeena River system and Skeena Chinook. Uh, so we're seeing about double of what was predicted pre-season. So somewhere around 40, 50,000 Skeena Chinook into the river system this year. And this is uh, about twice as many as we saw last year, but it's still half or a little less than half of a long-term average. So, so still some concerns there. Uh, there have been many management actions put in place this year. Uh, there's been non-retention in commercial fisheries for, for Chinook. Uh, there's been non-retention in the Skeena River recreational fisheries and there's been non-retention in ocean recreational fisheries uh, until August 1st. For Skeena Sockeye, this is the really bright news, the good news story this year, which is great to see. Uh, about 4.1 million are expected to return to the Skeena, and this is an excellent return. It's the biggest re return of Skeena Sockeye we've seen in about 20 years. Uh, an average return is more uh, in the two, two and a half million range. And so very good news. Lots of people getting out there and uh, taking advantage of that. Uh, so in terms of commercial fisheries, there's been significant gill net and seine fisheries taking place at the mouth of the Skeena. Uh, the end date was supposed to be August 5th, but DFO will likely extend the openings, uh, which is potentially concerning for other species that get caught as bycatch in those fisheries. The recreational fishery in the Skeena River is open to four sockeye per day in the Skeena main stem. And there are other uh, in-river commercial fisheries which are taking place uh, up near Kitwanga, uh, Hazleton area, and there'll be uh, commercial fisheries in Babine Lake as well. And of course, food fisheries are ongoing. For Skeena Coho, uh, we're looking at a above average return, tracking a little lower than last year. For Skeena Chum, uh, the return is tracking low, uh, about the 10 year average, but Skeena Chum have been depressed for quite a long time now. So not a lot of, of, of Chum returning. Uh, pink return into the Skeena is, is pretty good for an even year pink cycle. So it's good to see. Uh, for Skeena Steelhead, uh, it's still early, uh, but the current run size is tracking to be about double of last year's, maybe more. So um, that's encouraging. Uh, most of the steelhead will be entering the river system in the next kind of two to three weeks. So we'll have a much better understanding in a couple weeks what the, the health of the return of Skeena steelhead is. Uh, for moving on to the NAS, <clears throat> for NAS Chinook, uh, the current Run size estimate is about 21,000, which is 
uh, below the average return, uh, but similar to last year's uh, Nass Chinook return. Uh, it's openings for recreational fisheries in the Nass River system. For Nass Sockeye, the predicted return this year is 532,000. So that's uh, an average return if you look at the long term uh, returns into the NAS system. Uh, it's similar to last year. So it's good in the sense that we've had now, this would be the second year of decent, pretty good returns of NAS sockeye into the NAS system. There were no gillnet openings at the mouth of the NAS this year due to restrictions put on under the Pacific Salmon Strategy Initiative and also concerns over the Quinnegee sockeye. For NAS coho, uh, it's estimated about 194,000 coho will return into the system. This is a below average return to the NAS, but not bad. Uh, for NAS chum, about 45,000 chum are expected into the river system, which is, is low, but not terrible. Uh, pinks uh, estimated to be about 300,000, so that's not a bad return. There have been four commercial seine openings uh, out, in, out in front of the NAS system, out in the ocean. Uh, it's unlikely there will be any more this year. And for NAS steelhead, it's currently tracking low, but it's still pretty early, so we don't really have a good idea yet for NAS uh, steelhead. The, all the NAS information, most of it comes from Nishka Fisheries Program. Moving on to Haida Gwaii. Uh, for Haida Gwaii Chinook, a lot of those fisheries are targeting uh, Chinook that are swimming down the coast uh, to more southerly systems. And uh, the northern Chinook uh, commercial troll fishery has been delayed to August 10th to protect endangered Fraser Chinook. And so that's similar to what we've seen in the last several years. And there have been ongoing recreational fisheries in Haida Gwaii. And there's been some reductions this year to protect uh, Skeena and North Coast Chinook. For Haida Gwaii Coho, uh, it looks like recreational fisheries have been about normal, about average. Uh, there have been really good catches in uh, the commercial pink troll fishery uh, in uh, Dixon Entrance. So moving on to Kitimat slash Douglas Channel area streams. Uh, for Chinook, uh, in terms of the Kitimat River system, the returns were all right this year. I don't currently have any information on other systems. Uh, hopefully for the next update, I'll have some, some of that information. For uh, Coho in the Kitimat slash Douglas Channel area, there are a few showing up in, in local rivers right now, but it's still pretty early. Uh, for Chum, uh, it's well below average, not very many Chum showing up in most of the river systems in, in Douglas Channel area. And there have been poor returns in, in recent years. Uh, I think the returns of Chum into the Kitimat River itself have been okay. For Pinks, uh, it's been well below average for pink returns into Douglas Channel area river systems. And uh, there have been no commercial openings out in the ocean targeting uh, Douglas Channel area Pinks. Uh, the pink returns into the Kitimat have been so, so okay. And so that's all the information I have for you. Remember to check the regulations if you're going to go fishing. And uh, if you have any questions, please send them to info at And uh, in a few weeks, we'll do another uh, update to update folks on what's going on with the fish and with fisheries. So thank you very much.